hey welcome back so in this video we are now going to look at adding the authentication module for uh, streamlit using streamlit authenticator so the first thing you guys need to do is uh, pip install streamlit authenticator so let me make this this is what you need to do in your shell and you have to uh, uh, pre-install uh, pre all the other streamlit uh, which we have covered it in this series you have to do that and the additional one we will be doing here is pip install uh, streamlit authenticator and uh, let me just show you uh, how we did that basically uh, yeah pip install streamlit authenticator and if you do this uh, it is going to install this uh, environment to you it's going to install this library to you and after this is done the next thing we need to do to validate this is uh, so you can just open your python shell just do python and just type this command if you don't get an error then basically yes so you have that uh, available to you and you can use it so that's basically this one so let me go back to what we are doing here so these are the two python core libraries which are available to any python in def uh, um, any python there if it's not available to you you can just do pip install path if this is not available to you and we already looked at this one this one is done so i'm i'm going to create three lists the first list i would be creating is uh, two usernames and you can create anything here and the next one you would be needing is a username and the third one you would be needing is the password so once you have all this three ready we will be using uh, we will be converting the passwords from plain text to a hash passwords and we are using str.hasher and uh, we'll pass password.generate function to get it and this internally uses bcrypt so if you want to know more about bcrypt you can read through some cryptography uh, tutorials so it's an internal encryption library we'll be using so i won't be going into detail on uh, bcrypt and once that is available you have to pick the destination path where we will save the pickle file and this entire hash passwords we are going to dump it to a pickle file so that's basically what we are doing here and uh, this is what the code is so let me go here and let me just do python so generate keys.py and let me show you here i don't have the pickle file and if i try to do the uh, if i just run this program here so yeah so we will get an encrypted password file and once that is done this is our uh, original uh, so this is basically our original pi tube we looked at wherein uh, let me run this basically uh, to make you understand better so if i just do streamlit run demo youtube original dot py so we know this uh, wherein you can download audio video or uh, youtube videos of lowest and higher resolution that's basically what this is and I'll show you how easy is it to integrate a streamlit authenticator into this. So I, I've just added uh, two core libraries which is pickle and pathlib and I've also integrated this and just before my core application here. So I have added something called user and usernames but I don't have the passwords because we already have the passwords that's hashed available. So I now have the file path here. Uh, we know the path to the pickle file and I'm opening the pickle file in read mode, read buffer mode, RB. And I'm doing a pickle load, load and saving into hash passwords and authenticate. We, we will be passing users, usernames, which we have in uh, generate key here. We have user and usernames and hash passwords. So these are the three parameters we will be actually passing here. And after this, you can give this name as anything. So this one is nothing but uh, a JSON generated, uh, yeah, J J JSON generated uh, token cookie. And uh, this is the key that will be used to access it. 
and this expiry date if you don't want it to remember more than a day you can set it as 1 you can set it as 30 as 20 it is just how many days you want passwordless sign in so that's basically what this is for and we will be using the inbuilt authenticator uh, login form and that's basically what we are using and uh, you have two options you can either do it in main or the sidebar i'll show you how to do it in both and if authentication is invalid it will print the following error message if the password is empty it will send a reminder asking you to enter it and if authentication status succeeds then we will just retain the functionality over here and we will just have a logout functionality in the sidebar and let me go and run it or we can also do this in the sidebar if you want if you don't want uh, the uh, main here let me do it in the sidebar and we will just demo this here cool so i'm just going back to demo this to you and you can try it with any of your streamlit applications so it would work cool so we have our username and password here so let me type this so this is the username we now have and if i give it here it allows you to sign in and you can perform your functionality and once you do it you can do a sign out if you don't give anything it says username and password is invalid and let me go here and uh, try it as uh, the another username i had uh, let me go and check okay and let me type m test one two three which is not the password here so if i enter it it says invalid so it's doing the authentication and yeah in the next video i'll show you how to integrate uh, how to create a dynamic uh, user uh, registration form and uh, generate dynamic keys on the fly so we are going to look at it uh, in the next one wherein how we can create a json file and we can generate this hash key um, dynamically that is what we'll be looking at in the next video i think this should cover uh, our integration part for existing users i hope you enjoyed it thank you for